Hello friends, how's it going? It's me, Betty Jean. Happy December, happy Vlogmas. I'm gonna be here every single day in December and I'm so incredibly excited. I can't believe we're through another month. I can't believe we're on the last month of the year. 2023 is upon us and that is just absolutely bonkers to me, but I'm just really excited to see what this month holds, close out the year on hopefully a good note and just have some fun. We're gonna kick off this month with my November favorites. These were the things that I was loving last month. I have makeup, lots of eyeshadow specifically. I have some lip products, some nail polish, some TV shows and movies, and I'm really excited to share them with you. As always, I would love to hear your favorites from November as well, whether it's like makeup, skincare, food, an experience you had, I would love to hear it down below. And before we get into it, I did of course film this look it should already be up on my Instagram and TikTok by the time this video goes up and as far as my accessories go these earrings and I think this necklace are both from shop Sun & Co and this ring is from Ana Luisa so yeah without further ado let's just hop in and chat about the things that I was loving in November we're just gonna start with makeup that seems like a good place to start it's usually where I start um, I'm loving the new release from Kaleidos. I've been using them non-stop the last few weeks. I have the little matte illuminator in the shade light. I've been using this to kind of set my under eyes with and it's really nice. It just has a slight glow. Like I, I almost don't even want to call it a glow because it is matte, but it doesn't look like dry matte. It gives just like a very natural finish in my opinion. And I'm really liking this for setting my under eye area. I also kind of pop it in like the crevices of my mouth, like where things crease and stuff like that. I've been liking it for that purpose. And I also have the Contour Trio in the shade Light. I'm really liking this as well. I've been gravitating towards this shade mostly just to do a little bit of light contouring on like the tip of my nose, around the cheek, sometimes a little on the jawline, you know. I haven't really used contour products in a while. I've definitely been a bronzer girl lately, but I've been enjoying using this. It's such a fine powder and I really like it. It does give a really nice like shadowed effect. It does it doesn't look too gray on me, but it's not super warm either. I feel like it's a really nice contour shade for my skin and I'm really liking it. The matte highlight shade in here is probably super similar to the matte illuminator, if not exactly the same. I'm not sure if they're the exact same or not, but I've been using this one mostly. I was swatching both of these on my hand today and I couldn't really tell much of a difference. My brain was trying to tell me that I could see a little bit more of like a natural glow with the standalone illuminator, but that could just be my mind trying to see that. So this could be the very same. I'm sure I will use this once I'm out of this one. So yeah, I'm liking this so far. I played with these in a get ready with me recently on my channel. And I also posted very recently a light complexion tutorial sort of thing, like a foundation routine, although there wasn't foundation in that routine on my Instagram and TikTok recently where I use those as well. Moving on to highlighter, I'm loving this Glamlight Scooby-Doo highlighter. I wasn't super thrilled with the palettes. The mattes just weren't as pigmented as I would have hoped, but this highlighter duo definitely steals the show. These are so insanely sparkly. Do you see that? They're so wet looking. I should have worn one today. I guess I just didn't <laughs> think about it, but they're just so incredibly sparkly and amazing. If you like a sparkly highlighter, you'd probably love those. Um, if you don't like a sparkly highlighter, steer clear. <laughs> but I love these. One of them shifts a little more pink, one's a little bit more of a minty color, and I really, really like this. Okay, we have eyeshadows galore. Usually in my favorites videos, I try to narrow it down pretty drastically, but I have seven to talk about because I just couldn't narrow it down anymore. Recently, I got the Bad Side Zodiac collection from Melt that I ordered, and I've been loving the palettes, but I wanted to talk about my favorite one in particular. This is the Air Palette. It looks like this kind of purple pink peach vibes. I think this is so cute. I love these palettes in general. I love how small they are. It makes me really, really happy. And I've just been having a blast with these. I love Melt Cosmetics formulas and this one is no different for me. I think it's amazing. They blend like butter for me. They blend so easily. And the shimmers are really nice as well. They don't have like a crazy sparkly shift to them like most of the shimmers we see nowadays, but they are really just rich and they have a nice saturation. And I do like the kind of metallic finish that they leave. These are pretty cute palettes and I'm happy with them. I do have a four looks video with the Bad Side Zodiac collection on my channel already. I will have individual Instagram videos slash TikToks with all of these going up very soon. Next, recently Unearthly Cosmetics came out with two new palettes and this one is my favorite for sure, the Dead of Night palette. Look how pretty this is. I just love it so, so much. I love kind of this 
teal, blue, purple, green, gray. It's such a moody palette, and I think it's a lot of fun to play with. I think these shimmers are really pretty. They have nice shifts and sparkles to them. Not insanely sparkly like some of Unearthly shimmers. They're a little more of like the subtle sparkle, but they do still have a really nice shift. I like the effect on the eyes, and these mattes are all amazing. I love the way they blend out. I love the saturation on them. These two mattes in particular over here do have sparkle kind of like on the mat, like they're like those sparkly mats, which I didn't used to love. Still don't love them, but I just pretend they're mats because the sparkle dusts away anyways. But overall, I'm really, really happy with this one. I did do a like two looks video with this and the grind palette, which I also do love. I was just trying to narrow things down for this video. And I did do separate videos with this and the grind on my Instagram and TikTok. Recently, Ace Beauté launched two new palettes and they also sent me along the Ambiance palette with the package and all three of them I am just so in love with. I couldn't not talk about all of them. First, we have the Ambiance palette. This one launched a couple months ago, I believe. It looks like this. It's so beautiful. I did a get ready with me with this recently and I do have an Instagram video slash TikTok either already up or it's coming soon. I'm not sure what order things are getting posted. Uh, Vlogmas is just nutty, um, but I'm loving this. It's grungy, colorful. I just love this. I think it is so good. I am loving the shimmers. I'm loving the mattes. I love the matte to shimmer ratio specifically and I just think these colors are amazing. So I wanted to shout this one out. And then we have the Aura and Envy palettes. These are so stinking cute. I did a two looks video with both of these palettes together. Like I did one look with this, one look with this in the same video. And then I also have individual Instagram videos slash TikToks up with both of these. As always, I have multiple videos with everything. This one is the Aura and it's so beautiful. I love this purple red mustard color story. I think it is so cool. This one makes me really happy. I think the shimmers are beautiful in here and the mattes are just so good. They're so pigmented and so blendable. I've been having so much fun playing with this. And this one is the Envy palette. It's just gorgeous, swampy, mustard, blue, green vibes. I'm wearing this one today actually. And I just think this one is beautiful. Again, the shimmers are just breathtaking and I love these rich, deep, swampy colors. They are just so, so good. So I had no choice but to shout out all three of those because they're making me really, really happy. And then I have two all shimmer palettes to share with you. Gourmet Girls has sent me a couple things over the last couple months. And this Radioactive palette recently has stood out to me. It's so pretty. These shimmers are just insane. They are so shifty and sparkly and wet looking and amazing. I do have a look with this on my Instagram and TikTok and I just am loving the colors in here. I'm very impressed with this brand and their formula and these shimmers are just incredible. And then I also have the Bella Beauty Bar Angles of Illumination 3. I use this in a get ready with me and I also use this in an Instagram video slash TikTok. Look how pretty it is. It is a 15 pan all duo chrome palette. And again, these shimmers are just so shifty and sparkly and wonderful. And I couldn't not talk about both of these because I love them both for different reasons. And I just think the colors in here are so good. So I wanted to shout this guy out as well. Moving on to lip products, um, Melt Cosmetics also came out with three glosses in their Bad Side Zodiac collection. They're all super sparkly and plumping and wonderful. I've never tried Melt glosses before and these are incredible. Flare in particular is my favorite of the three. I've worn this one the most so far. Right there, it's kind of like peach pink and it's so sparkly. Oh, it is such a good color. I'm loving these. I don't think I'll stop wearing these anytime soon. I love a sparkling gloss. I love a plumping gloss. And these are just like extreme with both. Unearthly Cosmetics also launched seven new shades in their satin liquid lipstick line. And these two are my favorites for sure. I did do a full lip swatch video with all seven on my Instagram and TikTok if you're curious about them all. First, we have Aura. It's just kind of like this almost corally pumpkin color. I don't really know how to describe it. It's like bright, but muted. It's so, so pretty. I really like that color. And I also really, really adore Danielle. Such a pretty chocolatey brown. I am in love with it. It's so good. And I love this formula. It is so comfortable on the lips. It dries down enough where it's not like slipping and sliding all day, but it's not like 100% transfer proof because it is a satin liquid lipstick. And these are just so comfy and they do last a really long time for me. I find I can usually even eat with them unless food is like super greasy or something. Last lip product, I bought myself <laughs> this little Glossier Swissmissbalm.com 
lip balm. I've never tried the bomb.coms before. I've heard really good things over the years. I just haven't ever bought myself one. Um, but the Swiss Miss theme definitely spoke to my soul. I'm a Christmas queen. I love the holiday season. I love peppermint and chocolate and all the sweets. And I love hot chocolate in particular. And this literally smells like if you opened a packet of like the Swiss Miss hot chocolate before you mix it in with like your milk. Oh, it's so good. It's so conditioning as well. I've been wearing this most mornings lately. It just sinks into the lips and makes them feel so incredibly soft. This has the slightest brown tint, but it honestly doesn't really look like much of a tint. Like once it's rubbed in, unless you used a lot of it, it doesn't really look like anything. I've been using this mostly as like a treatment in the mornings and it feels so, so nice. And the smell is just such a cozy bonus. Moving on into nail polish now, I made an order from Mooncat. I've never tried this nail polish brand before, but I kept seeing their shades all over Instagram and I got sucked in. I bought four, but I'm only gonna talk about these two today because these are the two I've worn so far. Um, first is Mercury's Tears. Do you see this? Do you see all these shifts like sea foam, purple, blue? They literally do this on the nails too. Like it is so pretty. And I was really impressed too because this is just one of their shimmers. This isn't like a holographic. It's not one of their magnetic ones. It's not a like a glitter. It's not a multi-chrome. It's just a shimmer, yet it's so special. I love this color so, so much. And the one I'm wearing right now is Blood Moon. I feel like because I'm not in direct sunlight, the nail polish doesn't look that impressive in this particular lighting. But in the bottle, you can kind of see these shifts a little bit more. It like has this really pretty like plummy brown base with like holographic shimmer through it. Um, let me try to maybe shine my flashlight on my nails so you can see it. It's so pretty. Oh my gosh, I love this. I just love seeing this in the sun and in different lightings. Love that color. So yeah, I wanted to shout those two out. I did buy two others. I bought one toppery one, which name I can't remember, and I bought one of the magnetic ones, but I wanna play with that one when I have my fake nails back on so I have more room to like use the magnet because it's like you use the little magnet that it comes with and it like adds a cool effect to your nails. I don't know, I'm excited to play with it though. I have a couple movies and a TV show. Um, the new Falling for Christmas on Netflix is like the most cheesy goodness that you'll ever watch. It's Lindsay Lohan's new movie and it's so precious. Just such a good, cheesy, feel good kind of Christmas movie. I loved it. I'm probably gonna watch it again before the season is over. I thought it was really cute. I also finally got around to watching the original Knives Out because I wanted to go to the theater and see the new Glass Onion, a Knives Out story, um, but I never saw the original. I don't know why I didn't. Zane and I always intended on seeing it and then we just didn't, but we watched it on Thanksgiving with Zane's parents and Knives Out is so good and we really liked Glass Onion as well. Both of them are just, so entertaining, like murder mystery style, but not like gory true crime, if that makes sense. The second one, Glass Onion, is a little more goofy, um, but they're really good. Totally different types of murder mystery stories, and I highly enjoyed both of them. So if you're someone like me, who took forever to get around to watching Knives Out, <laughs> highly recommend watching it. I thought it was super entertaining. I also loved the new Black Panther. It was so sad, very heavy, but it was very, very good. I'm not gonna like spoil anything, um, but it was really good. I really enjoyed watching that one. It was such a different feel for a Marvel movie just because of how like heavy and sad it was, but it also had really good like action and fight scenes and new character introductions and I was, Really excited about it overall. And then last but not least, probably the absolute most favorite thing out of all of these is the new Wednesday show on Netflix. We binged it in a couple days. I probably would have binged it in one, but it was like during the holidays. So I just didn't have time to sit down and watch all eight episodes in one go, but I watched it within like two or three days and I loved it. I think Jenna Ortega does such a good job portraying Wednesday. And I just thought the story was really cool. A different version of like a Wednesday kind of story because she is older in this one. She's like 15, 16. So it's more of like a coming of age teenager kind of story. Her being a little bit more out on her own. There was lots of mystery and adventure and lots of different kinds of characters. I just loved watching it all unfold. It was also kind of like mystery-esque. Like she's trying to solve this like thing that's going on at the school. And I really liked it. And side note, I'm getting pretty annoyed <laughs> of seeing everyone pinning all the different Adams Family versions against each other. I feel like all I'm seeing right now is like the original was better or I liked the 1990s one or yada yada. It's like, why can't we just like them all? Why does there have to be like one bad one good? 
I don't understand. I had this with when the series of unfortunate events TV show on Netflix came out. Everyone was constantly just saying not as good as the Jim Carrey one or vice versa. It's like, why can't we just enjoy both? Like just because you like one doesn't mean you have to dislike the other. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. But the new Wednesday show was so, so, so good. I am dying for a second season. I really hope they continue this show. It was wonderful. And yeah, that wraps it up for my November favorites. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you're excited for Vlogmas, hanging out every day in December. I have lots of fun videos coming and I'm just excited to spend the month with you. Again, I would love to hear what your favorites were in the month of November, whether it's again, movies, TV shows, music, eyeshadow, anything at all, leave it down below. If you made it to the end of this video, leave your current favorite emoji. And if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps my channel out a lot. And if you're not already, you can follow me on my other socials. You can join the Batty Bean fam. I am Batty Bean on everything, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. And if you want, you can subscribe if you wanna see more of my videos. I'm posting every single day in December. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Okay, bye. I definitely have a cat hair on my lip. Oh, can't believe that we're in December. I feel like time will not slow down, not even a little bit.